I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Chakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom Am Lab Aquarium, Yahweh Lab uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, you all right? Um, Yahweh's name of the Heavenly Father, which is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Bahashim, which means in the name of Yahweh Shai, is the name of the only begotten Son who was sent to deliver the children of Israel from their sins. Bahashim Rechakwadash means in the name of the Holy Spirit, which is the volume of the book, the Spirit of Truth. Shalom La Bacharyam means peace of the elect. That's the men, women, and children who were slated to be delivered in these last days. Okay? And um, I want to bring something out real quick. This is something that a brother has sent to me. Um, I believe it was the brother Lakama uh, from uh, the Virginia camp in uh, Richmond, Virginia. <clears throat> he showed me that. This is an individual that we like to listen to. You know, um, if you know about him, you don't. It's no big deal. His name is Dark Low. You know, he's a Philly rapper. You know, as you can see, he has the border blue fringes on. You know, and you can see that Israel is becoming more popular uh, amongst common Israelites or common Jake. You know, um, and he, like I said, he's a gangster rapper from uh, uh, Philly. And um, you see, oh, I didn't even know all the comments that came on here. I can't actually... Let's uh, not deal with that uh, Slakia. No, no, no. Uh, let's get out of that. I can't. Give me one sec. Let's go back. My bad. There we go. Yeah, his name is Dark Low, man. And um, I can't go into the comments, but you say, you see, he says, uh, you see this guy says, uh, J. Son, 573 yo low you def, definitely playing, right? May Allah forgive you, my dear brother. Freedom men, may Allah <laughs> make it easy on them. <laughs> hey, man, because Jake is upset, man, because, you know, when you listen to, you know, especially Jake from Philly, a lot of Philly people are uh, into Islam in South Jersey. That's like heavily based Islam. You have a lot of our people waking up to the fact that they are Israelites. As you can see, it says, I'm not an Israelite. Don't call me black no more. The, that word is a color. It ain't facts no more. You know, which the word black is not really a color. It just means without light. All right. When you come to the fact that you know that you're Israelite, that's part of the light coming upon you. But the main thing that I want to focus on is that you have a lot of people folk, uh, understanding that they're Israelites, but there's a particular understanding that you must need to have salvation you didn't come to the knowledge and understanding of you being an israelite just to throw on fringes just to throw on the garment just to look like an israelite okay and like i said i've i've listened to this uh, this rapper dog low i've listened to dog low for a little while now and you know he has songs where it's, it's called uh he has a whole album called american made and he goes into the concept of how you know black people have been uh, uh, re-educated to kill themselves by the system, by America, and also too he has he uh, uh, he has another um song called "I Want Revenge for My Forefathers," you know, and uh, you know that's something you listen to and you just get hyped off of, man, because that's how we feel. So, who knows how long he's known he's an Israelite, but whatever. Nevertheless, um. Something again, something I want to highlight because, yeah, we sigh and cry for the abominations that we've done in the midst of, like it says here, Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto them, Go unto go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for the abominations that be done in the midst of. Now, it's very important to understand what this mark is. Because you have a lot of our people that are sighing and crying. Like I just mentioned, you have Dark Low. He made particular songs, albums in the fashion of sighing and crying. But does he know that the mark of the beast is the RFID chip? All right. That because at the end of the day, this is what it's all boiled down to. That mark, as we're going to go into it, it deals with what? All right. Set a mark upon the men that sigh and cry for all the abomination that be done in the mystery. Desire mark, mark as a sign of exemption from judgment. And what is that mark? Ultimately, it's the 100% truth, the blood of Yahweh Shai. Okay, let me get a scripture. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. 
chapter 12 and verse 11. I'm going to start at verse 10. It says, And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our power. Right? Now, we, we now this is the thing. Like, the fawa, I mean, is exempt from judgment, represents what? Salvation. All right? Being delivered from our enemies. Okay? It says, In the kingdom of our power and the power of Yahweh Shai, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. Right? And that's why you have these categories of uh, so-called black, so-called Hispanic, so-called Native Americans, being called bywords, being called a proverb, all right, being uh, 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 accused of the mishaps and the wrongs and the circumstances that are currently plaguing the world, okay? So you're going to have our people that are going to fall into that, and I'll say this too, man, you're going to have a lot of our people that Know that the Israelites and still fall for that. All right, that's why you have to truly understand what the thawa is, and that's the point of this video. Because a lot of people they sign in crime, but they don't know what the thawa is. They don't know how to be exempt from judgment, and it boils down to the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the holy scriptures, the hundred percent truth. All right, which involves the mark of the beast being the RFID chip. Okay, it says what, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. And by the word of their testimony, you see, and they love not their lives until unto the death. All right. And that's the point right there. The word of their testimony. Why? Because the scriptures talk about because when we understand what that thawa is, it represents the blood being on our doorpost. What is our doorpost? Our mind. What is the blood? The word of the Lord. Where is the blood coming from? Yahweh Shai. Okay, when he shed his blood for the remission of the sins of the children of Israel, which represented what? The knowledge and wisdom that shall be the stability of our time and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. This is what we're hinting at. Okay, because a lot of our people are falling for the fact that we're Israelites, but it's a snare. Okay, that's why the scriptures tell you. Matter of fact, I'll get that real quick. It tells you in the book of Romans, which Paul quoted. Bear with me a moment. Is it? I think it's nine. All right. No, it's not nine. Give me one second. I'm going to get in. It's got to come to my mind. Ah, oh, man. Um, I haven't went into this in a while. Let's go to seven. I think that I think it is seven because I went there to, at first. I should. Let me see. Uh, let me just Google it. Not Google it, but let me search it. I believe it's Psalm 69. But it's also in the book of Romans. I know it's in the book of Romans. Uh, Romans 11. Salakia. Romans 11. Because Paul's quoting David. Romans 11 and 8. According as it is written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. Meaning what? The latter times. Verse 9. And David said, Let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. What is that table? That table is them understanding that they're Israelites, but it has become a snare and a trap. Why? Because Esau is the one pushing the fact that we are Israelites so he can mark you, all right, with his mark. Because Esau understands that our people are going to figure out eventually that they're the Israelites. But if he's the one to facilitate the knowledge, he can control the awakening. But that's why the scriptures talk about, as a matter of fact, Romans 11 and 7. What then shall Israel have not obtained which he seeketh for, but the elect election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. You see, because Israel's seeking for their salvation. Israel's seeking for the, the, uh, uh, the, to be the prominent figure on earth. 
Okay, they're seeking for the validation of the most high. All right. But it's hey, look, man, this is be, th th this knowledge of you becoming an Israelite has become a snare. All right. So that's why you have to understand what is going to be your ticket to salvation. That's ultimately the bottom line. OK. It says what? I'm going to jump down. Verse 10, let their eyes be darkened that they may see not and bow their, down their neck back always. Yeah, because the scriptures even talk about how uh, the children of Israel, you rejected this, uh, uh, the cornerstone, the chief cornerstone. And that chief cornerstone has become a stumbling unto you. Although you knew that the building needed to be built, you rejected the, the key ingredient, the main piece, the point of the matter. All right. So it says what? Now, if the fall of them be the riches of the world and the diminishing of them, the riches of the Gentiles, how much more the fullness? OK, that's the point. All right. Yep. Let me get this, this is John chapter three and verse 32. I'll start. And what he have seen and heard that he testified and no man receiveth his testimony. He that received his testimony, because the testimony and that the why is the same concept, which is the blood, okay? Which was the same concept of the blood being on the doorpost during the time of the Passover, going back to the time the children of Israel were in Egypt with Moses. And once the, the blood was on the doorpost, it showed what? They being exempt from judgment. But that modern day blood is the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is what? The spirit of prophecy, the 100% truth. He that hath received his testimony have set to his seal that the most high is true. And what is that seal? That seal goes into what? The being exempt from judgment. All right. The, the approval of the most high. For he whom the Most High have sent speaketh the words of the Most High, for the Most High giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. Right? Because the scriptures tell you that, that the knowledge of the Heavenly Father is overflowing, man. Okay? And that's what you've been, you, that's what those that watch Great Millstone and those that watch, you know, the prophets, all right, the true prophets that are truly speaking up against the society, that's what you're getting. You're getting fed. What? Why? So you're stable and you're steadfast and you're rooted for the times to come. Because if you don't have the true testimony, you're going to fall for whatever Esau Edom brings forth, although you know you're an Israelite. So it's bigger than just throwing on fringes and, 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 and rocking a beard and saying, I'm stop eating pork and things of that nature. You see? This thing involves a true sacrifice. Okay, to show forth that you're worthy. Okay, of the uh, of the salvation of, of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All right, Yahweh Shah, the Son of the Most High. All right, that's what it boils down to, man. At the end of the day. Okay, so if you found that you was an Israelite, you need to find you need to know what's to come because that's what made the children of Israel who they were because. They were given the mouthpiece of the Heavenly Father through the seers. All right? Through the prophets, through the priest. The priest was set up to what? Orchestrate and uh, construct the people so that they would be worthy of the Most High's favoritism. Okay? You're not just, you're not favored just because you know you're Israel. You're not favored just because you're throwing fringes in a border of blue. It's deeper than that. Okay? But yeah, we see it, man. You know? I just want to put that that spirit out there, man, because the famine of the word is coming. The, the internet is about to be cut off, man. You know, Esau wants to mark people with his mark. And you should know what his mark is by now. All right? Revelation 13, 16. All right? Also, too, going into his uh, 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 pharmaceutical industry. We know what he's doing with that. All right? With that, call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom.